They live in Indiana, but these brothers farm on both sides of the Illinois-Indiana state line. WCIA3's ag reporter Stu Ellis has more in this morning's Harvest Heritage Report. Brothers Daryl and Brian Morgan lead a premier conservation operation, which has spread their style of agriculture in four counties, beginning in 1976 when Daryl began farming. We farm in two counties in Indiana, Fountain and Vermillion County, and in, and in Illinois we farm in Vermillion and Edgar counties. They're known for their soil-saving efforts, detailed by Brian's son, Carter. 100% no-tilled everything in 2006, and to kind of better the operation, they began in 2011 with adding cover crops uh, into the operation. Uh, just with our no-till, it just fit uh, the operation to help essentially stop the erosion, and it really was the, the weed control is, is what we've seen the biggest benefit. Carter's father, Brian, says their goal is to save topsoil. The first thing we did was put in and waterways and buffer strips to stop that erosion because we want that topsoil to be left on top of the ground, not going down the stream somewhere. And that's resulted in many awards and recognitions. With the STAR program, it's out of Champaign County Soil Water, so saving tomorrow's agricultural resources. Uh, we have several farms that, that rate as a five-star farm uh, based on water quality and nutrient uh, quality. Um, <clears throat> most of that is because we're no-tilling, we're adding cover crops. Eric Scheidler with Vermilion County, Indiana Soil and Water Conservation says the Morgans stand out. Uh, here in Vermilion County, we do use Morgan Brothers as one of the leading examples of conservation here in our county. Um, not only with what they do for cover crops and no-till farming, but also um, all the other conservation aspects they put in for water quality. Daryl says there are differences in farming between Illinois and Indiana. In Illinois, you have a lot more bigger black, big bigger fields, and the dirt's black. And over here in Indiana, you either have clay or what we call gravel. There's a lot of rocky in certain areas, and you just have to treat it differently. It's our Harvest Heritage Report. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.